now. No more drinking and partying for me. No, not at all. Not really. I'm uh, in pretty good shape now. I lost a lot of weight, and uh, you know, it's just a waste to throw it away by drinking and partying. Uh, I suppose if I like next week in uh, the CCF. Uh, Plus a fucked up championship in uh, Canada, but this fucker, the promoter, is gone. Like a week, two weeks before the fight, he just don't show up. He don't, uh, don't answer his phone. So this bitch, sorry, I'm gonna press that border. Sorry, man, I said it. Uh, excuse my friends or whatever. Fuck him. He uh, just, uh, you know, four months of training down the drain. Uh, it's messed up. So right now I'm just waiting, looking for a new fight, uh, for a new fight. Tell us, how are you doing health-wise? Good. I lost 30 pounds. I'm in shape. I'm in the best shape ever. I'm feeling really, really, really good. And uh, yeah, I'm awesome. I feel really good. I'm ready to destroy everybody. Uh, I, live, I live here in Las Vegas. I'm training now, of course, still under John Lewis. But I'm training at the Throwdown uh, right now. And uh, together with uh, Sean Jabra, uh, my Thai coach. Uh, I train with, what's his name, uh, Forrest Griffin. Uh, Pretty much uh, a lot of good people in Toronto. What are your thoughts on Alistair Overeem, his situation, dropping out of the tournament and possibly headed to the UFC? Would you have dropped out of the, the heavyweight tournament? No. And I think of Alistair Overeem, Alistair used to need to stop putting so much steroids in his body.